Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a massively huge, at least huge for me, CVS haul. I spent about $350 on all of this. Um, I want to note though, I had a, that's the subtotal. I had a 30% off your entire purchase coupon. So that came off the $350. I did have some coupons. I had some extra bucks, CVS extra bucks. I think I had like $20 or $30 in extra bucks. And um, with all the coupons and everything, I was able to save a nice chunk off the 350. So what this is here is like a household refresh 2020 starting the new year off with a lot of the products that we go through on a regular basis, stocking up things that we are out of, stocking up things for the winter months, that sort of thing. So there are things for my husband, things for myself, things for all of us as a household, things for my son, first aid, you know, medical things. So I tried to separate them into categories the best I could, and I wanted to share everything with you. I picked up every single thing here from CVS. I'm pretty sure there's a few random items missing because I did haul this a few days ago, but I just have not had time to film. It's been a crazy week. So there are a few other random items that did not make it into this haul because they're already being used or, you know, they're just not here for whatever reason. So I'm going to roll through everything. Um, this is like the Leanne specific stuff. Um, and I tried to, you know, categorize. But anyways, I got a Dove Pump Top Coconut, or Coconut, Cucumber and Green Tea Scent Body Wash. This is the huge, um, 34 ounce pump top bottle. I did have a coupon for this but I like to get the big pump top ones once in a while, and I really like the cucumber scent. I really like this shampoo. It's the L'Oreal Elvive Smooth Intense Shampoo, so I got that. And then I also got the Elvive Power Moisture Hyaluronic uh, Hydrating Conditioner. I also got the Nivea. This is the 48-hour Essentially Enriched um, Body Lotion with the Almond Oil, which is the one I really like a lot. I need a deodorant. I still I have one that I'm working on, but I like to always have a backup of deodorant. So I got the Dove Dry Spray in the Lavender Fresh scent. I got two large bottles of the Beauty 360, which is a CVS brand eye makeup remover. These last me a good four to five months each. So I like to just buy them two or three at a time and literally be good for the year because I have a bottle now that I'm working my way through. I got some Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist um, Deep Conditioners. I love these. I've been using this product for years. I usually get these two at a time as well. I also got the Pons. Um, these are the original Pons uh, makeup removers with cold cream technology. I absolutely love Pons wipes. I don't buy them a whole lot because they're a little bit pricey, but because I had the coupon... Um, did I mention too, I also had a gift card. So I had I had the coupon, the extra bucks cash, I had coupons, like regular manufacturer coupons, and I had a gift card. I'm not sure if I said the gift card part. But anyways, I wanted to treat myself to these because I don't buy them very often. I've been buying Target brand or Walmart brand wipes for like the past year. So that's sort of the Leanne specific pile. This here, um, my husband and I will both use both of these scrubs. So I got the two of the Neutrogena Deep Clean Cooling Gel Scrub. I do not think I've ever tried this, but I really like a lot of the Deep Clean by Neutrogena line scrubs. So I got two of these, and I also got two of these Deep Clean Invigorating Foaming Scrubs. We've had these before. They're really nice. So I just got two of each for my husband and I to both use. And then move this over. I did go ahead and get some like first aid, medical, medicine um, type of stuff for 2020. So we like the Excedrin Extra Strength. Um, we always have like a mini version of this in each of our vehicles. We always have one in our medicine cabinet and we always have a smaller bottle in our kitchen cabinet. We just really like it. So I got a big bottle of 80 uh, gel tabs of Excedrin Extra Strength. This is really one of the only cough and cold medicines my son will tolerate. 
It's the Highlands Day and Night Value Pack. Obviously, we don't want our kids to get sick. We don't want to get sick, but unfortunately for us, at least, it's a reality. We get sick and going into the new year, of course, colds, stomach bugs, flus, all that great stuff. But anyways, as a preventative, I got this. We already have one, but I think I'm half done with the day one and three quarters done with the night one, so it's nice to have a backup. I also got some DayQuil um, tablets, liquid caps to have for when you, you know, when we get a head cold or something and we have to go to work and power through the day. And then I also got a night quill, severe cold and flu to take at night when we have a cold, my husband or I. I got the one a day women's and the one a day men's um, 100 pack vitamins for obviously one for each of us. I am trying the Alive brand vitamins right now, but after that bottle is done, it's a small bottle, I'll move on to this. I got some Ludens wild cherry cough drops because these are the only ones my son will tolerate as well when he has like a sore throat or a cough he will not do even like the cherry hauls he'll only do these and my husband and I will do these as well I also got my son the Zarbies multivitamin with immune complex um, in like the mixed berry flavor he's we've already gone through a bottle of them and he seemed to like them so I got another one and then lastly for medical first aid type of stuff. I don't even know first aid, probably just medical. Uh, I got this Nasacort um, allergy spray, nasal spray, because I have had sinus and allergy issues for years. I literally as a child. So this is something I'll probably just continue to pur repurchase because it helps my sinuses and my allergy issues. Next up is some specific things for my son. So most of you know, I use the We've used the Aveeno Eczema Therapy. This is like a balm. It's an itch relief balm. I've been using this on my son for a couple years now. We do use other things as well, but the, this seems to work really well for him. It is expensive. It's like anywhere between $17 and $20, depending where you pick it up. Um, but I just went ahead and got two because winters are very long here. We don't really stop the snow. The snow doesn't really stop here until like the middle to end of April. So we have a long way to go. So I got two of these because my son seems to get eczema the most starting in the fall all the way through winter into early spring. So we got two of the Aveeno eczema bombs. I did not know CVS carried the Honest Company. Um, it, I don't know why I never knew that or maybe it's a new thing. But I got the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash both in the Lavender Calming scent and it's um just something that we've used for years with him and he really seems to like it in the shower so i got two i got two of these <clears throat> can do flushable cleansing wipes my son does still need some help wiping um but he likes to carry he likes to keep one of these at school in his like cubby for school and then i just got a backup and then i also got these um, CBS brand ultra soft face and hand wipes just to keep in his backpack because he is definitely a sensory kid and likes to have clean hands and a clean bottom so I'm not mad at that so that's like Grady's little specific pile <clears throat> moving on to my husband I took stock of the things that he needed so he definitely needed a couple body washes I got the Dove clean, clean comfort uh, this is the micro moisture body and face wash it's like a really nice masculine but sort of like gentle smell he's also going to need some deodorant so I got this Gillette clear gel in cool wave scent two pack Matt likes a clean butt as well uh, well who doesn't I guess so I got these Cottonelle flushable wipes he likes to keep them in his truck so one will go in the truck one will go in the bathroom as a backup because these are, this is something he specific, specifically asks me for um, so he can keep with him, you know, at work and stuff like that. Because unfortunately, working construction, you have to go to the bathroom a lot of times in porta potties. So anything that helps you feel a little bit fresher, I get it. He also needs shave gel. Doesn't shave very often. He definitely likes to rock a beard and mustache. But he did just run out of his other bottle, so I got a backup or a replacement rather. This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Shave Gel. Um, <clears throat> this is the alcohol-free one. And then Matt really likes this um, lotion, like for his hands. 
So I got, I found this smaller one. It's like a smaller than usual one. It is five ounces for his truck because the it was either this or like a huge one that was like, I don't know, 22 ounces. So I thought this would be a good size to fit in his truck. It's just the original scent uh, healing lotion. We needed a backup Q-tip, so I got a backup Q-tip. I grabbed um, these Working Hands O'Keefe's Hand Cream for Matt. I actually use this sometimes as well on my cuticles because our hands get really super dry here with the <clears throat> really cold temperatures. So we both can use this. My father uses it and loves it. I got his chapstick. We always need chapstick in the winter. Uh, we both, my husband and I both keep one in our vehicle and then we always have the backup, obviously. Um, this is just something we ran out of and I try to replace anything we run out of that we go through pretty regularly. Um, so this is the Cortisone Maximum Strength Cooling Relief Gel, which we have used for all different things, um, but I just got it as a replacement for one that we just went through. Uh, next up is dental care. So I got a mouthwash. This is the Crest Clean Mint Alcohol-Free Pro Health Mouthwash as a backup. And then I like to always try different toothpastes. So I got four different kinds, I guess. I got Crest Herbal Mint Expressions. It's Crest Plus, sorry, with whitening. Um, never heard of it. Never have tried it. Excited for it. Going to try that. I got the Sensodyne Fresh Mints. The Crest Pro Health Advanced. We've tried this several times and really like it. And the Sensodyne Full Protection Plus Whitening. And then also... Let's see here. My husband, we both use the spin brush. Um, my husband has had his a long time, like four years. And it's just really seen better days. It's cracked. It's it's just, it works, but barely. So I thought it was time for our replacement. So we'll throw the other one out. And he's going to use this. And then I've heard good things about this toothbrush for kids with autism. Um, I don't know if it's just good for kids in general. I'm not sure. My son seems to do well with like these, but this seemed to be a little bit better of a toothbrush. So I did get him a replacement for similar to what he has, which is just this Firefly kind of kitty one. But I'm also going to try him on this one, the Oral-B one. Um, it's like a battery operated toothbrush and see how he does with that and see if it's any better because we're trying to keep him cavity free as long as possible. Um, so far so good, but I'm always looking out for like really good dental care and the best options for him. And then my son loves this toothpaste. It is the Burt's B for Kids Fruit Fusion. I first discovered it at Walmart last year. And it's not always in stock there. So I grabbed three at CVS because he seems to really like it. And whenever we run out of it and we have to use something else, he asks for Burt's Bee. So he definitely likes it. And anything that's going to make brushing teeth easier for me, I will take it. So yes, this is everything that I purchased today. Again, minus those few items that didn't make it into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I wanted just to throw this in uh, quickly. It's just the day after Christmas, stuff I got from Target. I thought I would just throw it into the end of this video so I wouldn't have to make a whole separate video because it's not enough stuff in my opinion. So everything here was 50% off minus the Oreos. They were 30% off. But everything else was 50% off. So the first, the number one thing I wanted was this 12-day countdown prize punch surprise box. Obviously, I'll use this next year for my son. I saw it this year um, on a few of the YouTubers that I watch, and I thought it was such a great idea. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hide it away for my son. You just, um, the this part comes off, and you just fill it with like 12 little prizes or treats or whatever and then each day they punch open um one of the circles to reveal the little prize so i think my son's gonna love that um for next year this was i think i ended up paying like six six or seven dollars for this something like that 
Um, the next thing I got was this table cover. It's like a wintry table cover, so it's not like Christmas specific. It's from the Wonder Shop brand, and it was $3, so I got it for $1.50. I always pick up a box or two of Christmas cards every year, the day after Christmas. I've been doing that for years. Um, and I actually went through a couple boxes this year, so I needed another one. Um, this is just the green inspired. It's just very simple. Merry Christmas with candy cane, 16 cards and envelopes, and it was $3.50. Yes, it was originally $7, and I got it for $3.50. I also got these sugar papers. Are really, I love that brand um, from Target. I have since it came out at Target. But anyways, they had these little gift boxes, and what I like is they're not Christmas specific. And I have, um, I give to a lot of friends for birthdays and family, obviously. And a lot of people now just want gift cards. So these were originally $4, so I got each box for two. And they're cute because I can use them year-round for gifting. These plates I thought were nice, um, even though they have, you know, a reindeer and a Christmas tree. It doesn't bother me. They're perfect for family get-togethers, football, especially now with the football playoffs coming, um, just to have you know people over. And they are inexpensive because they were half off. I think they were a dollar forty-nine. They were originally like two ninety-nine, and I got them for a dollar forty-nine each. So I grabbed two. These were thirty percent off. I've had them once. Um, the white fudge covered. I know the regular Oreo. The regular fudge ones are amazing, and so are these. So there was literally two boxes left, and a lady grabbed one, the last one, after she saw me grab this one. They're really good. And then the main thing I went for is I needed to stock up on my Christmas-specific gift bags because I pretty much wiped out my Christmas gift bags this year, and of course, no better way to get them than half off. So this one was originally $1.50. It's a set of two. And I got both for 75 cents. They're just like a craft paper. This one has a little polar bear. And this one just says let it snow. So 75 cents for these two. This little fox one was uh, $1.50. So I got it for 75 cents. It's a little larger. So these will be perfect to use for gift cards for birthday gifts for friends. I got two of these red craft paper bags. They were originally $1.50. So I paid 75 cents for each of them. And this was my favorite bag this year, the one that says Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. It's more of like a silky paper, it's not craft paper. Um, and they were originally two, so I paid a dollar each and well worth it. These are really pretty, kind of more luxury type of bags. Really pretty gold um, string or ribbon. But I actually had, um, I gifted one of these this year with a gift and it was just such a pretty bag. And the recipient said, oh, what a beautiful bag. So I got two of those. And then lastly, I got this other set for 75 cents. It was originally $1.50. Our plain red craft paper and then just this little Christmas color design. And that was a great deal for 75 cents. So yeah, guys, that's everything I got from Target Day After Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.